So Kelly is spending some time on the water this morning. Yeah, she joins us from Wrightstown with more on the Waterboard Warrior Ski Team. Hi, Angie. Hi guys, we'll take a look in just a minute or so. We are going to be seeing these uh, lovely young girls, the ballet line performing out here on the Fox River. But first we have a group of barefooters coming in that you're gonna see in just a minute. Peter Romanesco is with the Waterboard Warriors. How long has this organization been around? Sure, the Waterboard Warriors have been around since 1982, so it's been about 30 years. This is our 30th anniversary this summer. Mm -hmm. And it, how, who makes up the team? Sure, the team starts of all ages, so members are from six all the way up to 54. That's our eldest member. And really, you've got everybody that just shares the love and passion of skiing all through the summer. Okay, so we can see the boat making its way up here. Tell us what we're looking at. Sure, what we're looking at right here is a twin rig. That means it has two Evinrude 250 horsepower engines. What we're doing here is we're sending these skiers in at about 45 miles an hour. They're stepping off now, which means they're taking off their skis in the water and barefooting right in front of us, so here they are. Wow. Cool. Do you barefoot ski, Peter? Oh. Um, I've tried to barefoot ski, Angela, and uh, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> what does that feel like? It feels uh, a lot better when you make it like they did. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely incredible. All right, we got to see these lovely ladies do their, uh, it's their turn to perform here. Uh, tell us about what we're about to see. Sure, what we see here is the Waterboard Warriors Ballet Line. A ballet line is something that every competitive water ski in Wisconsin has. There's about 30 teams overall, and we're looking at a top 10 ballet line right here. So the Waterboard Warriors Ballet Line is literally dancing both on land and on water. So here we see all the girls hop docking off where they start on their skis and hit the water. And now you'll see them dance across the show course here in Wrightstown. That is incredible. How long does it take to master something like that? Um, something like a ballet line, you could probably get down in about a summer or a little bit less. Uh, granted, the Warriors practice every day, including their shows Tuesday and Thursday. So you do have that. Uh, but if an average person wanted to go out and learn how to do ballet line, major skills here are slalom skiing. You'll see each skier only has one ski. And then also uh, different positions in handling the rope. You'll see now the ropes are in the, on their feet. That's a toe hold, uh, not their hands. Mm -hmm. So that's the main skills you have to learn there. And of course, you have to be a good dancer. Yeah, I can hear them counting. Yep. You know what I mean? Uh, that's yep. so cool. Yep. So, okay, how can people come out and, and watch the Waterboard Warriors? Sure, the Waterboard Warriors are here every Tuesday and Thursday. We're in Miller Park in Wrightstown, Wisconsin. Um, we start in August. Our shows are at 6.30. They usually go till about 8 o'clock. They run to be about an hour long. And uh, we've got everything here you'd expect from a normal show. We have a concession stand, great family entertainment. Um, and then we also have a few comedy acts that, that work throughout the evening. So. All right, fantastic. Aren't they great, you guys? They're Amazing. so great. What a way to spend your summer. I know, it's so impressive. And you know what, it, they get so excited. You can just tell, they're like, oh, where do we get to get, get to be in the water? And I'm like, it's a little cold out here. <laughs> but they look great. And you know what, there's so much more to come this morning. We've got three more fantastic segments for you from these wonderful skiers. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Angela. Thanks.